hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing absolutely fine in today's important tableau interview scenario we are going to solve two you know challenges that were asked in you know, recently that is first one is percent of total using lod second one is top five sales for each state based on city okay so let us get started without wasting much time if you're new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe so to solve the first uh issue or challenge that was given in interview that was like how will you find out percentage of total using fixed LOD now for this first thing that we should get in mind is how to calculate LOD uh, how to calculate a percent of total here so I'm creating something like this category by sales I'm taking so in general if at all we want to find percent of total what is the most common approach we'll do we can simply click on this sum of sales. We can go to this quick table calculation and I can do percent of total, fine, right? But now if you try to observe what is happening in this, if I can double click, this will edit and I can see what is the formula that Tableau is using to find out percent of total. That is sum of sales by total sum of sales it is trying to do. Now we should get this using LOD expressions so that we can compute the percent of total. That is what I'm trying to do now, okay? So for that, what I'm doing is I'm trying to first to find out my total sum of sales. So total sum of sales means what? So sum of sales means sales for each of your category item here and divided by total sum of sales, okay? So which is like the sum of sales for furniture plus office surplus plus technology. That is what we should be doing here. So first step, I'm trying to find out my total uh, sum of sales, okay? And, and I'm simply using my LOD expression, which should calculate the total sales for me without any issue. Okay, click on apply. And I'm, I'm going to take this and I'm going to drop it again here. Let me to do it, make it easy, something like this. Okay, now total sum of sales we got. Now we need a sales for each category item, right? So simply if I take my sales, this value I should get, right? So, so whatever the dimension you want, you can specify here, but this is what we need. So because we want to, you know, fix this at a category level, I'm writing something like this, okay? I'm writing sales um, for, for category, okay? And what I'm doing is I'm using, again, fixed expression followed by what is the dimension that I want my sales to be that I'm specifying. So I want my sales to be at a dimension level called as category. I'm specifying that. And at that level, what is the sales? I'm taking that, okay? So which means we should get this sales. 742, 719, 836, this is what we should get. So if I click on apply, and if I use this here, we will see I got that value. Now we got numerator part and we also got a denominator part. Okay. So simply we can divide those two things to get. So I, I will be removing this and maybe total sales for subcategory. We can simply duplicate and here I'm writing. total using LOD. So here only I can write something like this divided by total sum of sales. Click on apply. And if you take this, you're getting zero here. That is because the values we are getting is uh, in different format. So maybe I can write, I can format it here. So we got that value, 32.3, 31.3, 32.3, 31.3, 31.3, 31.3, 31.3, 31.3, 31.3, 31.3, 31.3, 31.3, 31.3, 31.3, 31.3, 31.3, 31.3, 31.3, 31.3
36.4 which is matching so this way you can solve this so always remember whenever you are not getting any you know issue uh or you know, a scenario in your real time try to break that into multiple parts and try to build the code you know you know pieces by pieces and club it together that way you will be more confident in solving that okay so that one tip i can definitely give you second question is how to find a top five sales for each city on city basis okay so for that again i'm creating my view i'm taking uh, my state and I'm also taking my city and on this, I'm taking my sales. I drop it on label, this is what we got. So if I try to sort it, these are the values. So for Alabama, if I say I want top five cities, what do we do? One, two, three, four, five. This five cities I should get. Similarly for Arizona also, I should get one, two, three, four, five. This five I should get. So one common approach we can do is you know you will take this city and you will drop it on filter shell take five and all but let us try to solve it using again calculation so i'm calling it as rank per uh, city okay and i am calling it as rank of uh, sum of sales descending order okay so click on apply okay so i'm going to just make it uh, just drop it here and make it discrete so we got some number which are very strange here i want uh, know them to compute correctly so what i'm going to do is compute using it state not state maybe we can do city now see here for each city my rank is starting from one and it is going as long as i have cities so in alabama i have got eight uh, cities so i've got eight ranks based on my sales so 5,400 is my maximum sales that I have for my mobile city, which is ranked as one. Likewise, if you see Arizona, we have got almost 13 cities in that and we have got ranks according to that. Now from this, we need top five. So simply I can use the same calculation and I can write something like that, like this equal to five, or you can create another calculation on top of this and you can solve it now till here it is giving us true see here now you can simply take this and drop it on filter shell click on apply okay so this way we can uh, solve this way we can solve top five cities for each state okay so now if i try to drop it i'm taking this dropping it here click on okay so but you know by default it is taking only the top five because you know we have to tell uh, that you know how it has to compute like how we told here compute using this same thing i'm trying to do here compute using now for each city we got five so you can also use index to calculate but because this is not number and this is uh, simply a value i've taken rank so rank is more better than this so if at all you want to make sure it is five you can now add index here because index is just generating a number okay maybe here also we want that to compute at city level so one to five we have here maybe you can keep it here if at all you want so for alabama we have got five for arizona we have got five for oksana we got five 
So for every state you take, we got five. That way we can solve these two scenarios, which are very important in real time and frequently implemented. So please practice and stay ahead of others in the interview and also in the real time. That's it from my side in this video. I hope this video helped you. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.